Hi ladies, it's Tuesday. <sighs> Rachel, the longest thing I have ever written was probably my very first nano novel. It's kind of sad. Brissa, yay! The zombies didn't eat you. I was, I was quite worried. Danielle, I am loving our Google Hangouts when my internet will let me have them. I'm kind of a little bit with uh, Julie on the fact that we need something to read of yours. But I want to take the bar a bit higher, and I think we should all get a copy of Vaulted Skies. I think those writer girls should be privileged. <laughs> Julie. What? Google Hangout? I... I'm glad I entertained you. I'm guessing it has to do with the fact of... Somehow in one of our threads, uh, one of our conversations got thrown a little sideways and someone mentioned a bunny ranch. Yeah, seriously considered working there after college as an option. I, girls, I am loving the Google Hangouts a lot. Um, it's a lot better than the Skypes. I get to talk to you all and like I said, as long as my internet's been good, it's really amazing. So if we can figure out a day where most of us can make one or something, we're talking about zombies. And Julie, um, your application was lacking. Obviously, you have not thought this through very well. Games like Left 4 Dead and Dead Island and such, they need to be on there because that's, that's training right there. That's hand-eye coordination. I know Julie talked about the articles that are usually, that have been in the news lately, and it's not just um, cannibalism, technically. It's just a bunch of weird stuff. Like, yeah, if you watch Sexy Phil, he talked about a news story last week where the guy um, cut open his own stomach and started throwing his intestines at police. And random crap. And I'm, thi I'm thinking a little more along the lines of uh, 28 Days Later rather than something like uh, Dawn of the Dead. So We have a zombie plan, like most nerdy people, I guess. I nicknamed it Zam Zambapo, our zombie apocalypse plan. No, me and him, like one of the big things I was worried about when he was here and I was still back home was what if something happened. We talk about it on long drives and stuff, but it was more of, this time was more of a what if anything happened. Especially oddly a very big worry of mine if something big happened <clears throat> not being able to connect with him. No, I'm, I'm pretty as obsessed with the zombie stuff as Julia except for I'm not as into like being a zombie. The one thing I was so irritated with was the year after we graduated they started HVZ games on campus with nerf guns and marshmallow guns and things and you know, you have humans versus zombies, and it's so not fair. But like I said, I'm not really interested in like being the zombie part. It's more of the surviving part. I've always been into the apocalypse kind of books, into the world stuff. So zombies just my favorite one. Writer burnt out. I have my zombie diaries, which I've talked about many times on here, and it's just something I can go in and be myself, but in a different world, and. You would think I'd want something with like castles and rainbows and unicorns to escape, but no, I think a zombie apocalypse. But one of the big things my mom and I fought over with the wedding was the fact that we wanted zombies on our cake. And one of the very first conversations that Aiden and I had, I was asking him weapons advice for my zombie apocalypse journal diary thing. It's near and dear to our hearts. I really think that eventually someday something similar will happen, some sort of disease, some sort of something, just maybe not the zombies that we all see in Hollywood. What I'm reading, World War Z. I just finished Sisters Red by Jackson Pierce, which is a modern day storytelling of Red Riding Hood, kind of. It's really awesome. 2,000 words behind on Nano to reach my goal today. Word of the day is Blissom subject to or having strong sexual desires. Yeah. Uh, my challenge 
is to build something with popsicle sticks. Mom used to teach me how to make these ninja stars. So you make these stars out of popsicle sticks and then you throw them and then they they break apart and they were awesome. So make something, I don't care what it is. Anything takes a little bit of effort. Nobody's doing challenges. Everyone's doing questions. Julie, I choose you, Pikachu. I will see everybody next week. And Rachel, I will see you tomorrow.